Hello folks and welcome to another battery test video. Today I will be testing Panasonic Eneloop Pro rated at minimum capacity of 930 mAh against Panasonic Rechargeable again rated at minimum capacity of 930 mAh up to 100 mAh. As you can see the packages of both batteries are pretty similar and that's understandable simply because they are both Panasonic. Both of them are made in Japan. The NLO Pro is manufactured May 2020 and the Panasonic Rechargeable June 2020. Both of the batteries are Nickel Metal Hydride both of them are factory pre-charged and ready for use. For those of you who haven't watched my previous videos, I will be using this Technoline BC700 Smart Battery Charger and Dash Discharger to discharge these batteries and determine which one of them is the best. The device is programmed to discharge the batteries until they reach 0.9 volts. When they reach that threshold, the device automatically starts to charge them. So I will be monitoring the whole process and I will be writing down the values. In the end, I will declare the winner. Now, before starting the process, one important thing to mention. The two Analog Pro cost 12 euros, while the two Panasonic rechargeable cost only 5 euros. So it's a really big difference. And let's see if the price tag of the Panasonic NLO Pro is really worth. For the purpose of testing, I will be using this Nokia smartphone as a chronometer. Let's power up the device and compare the initial voltage of the batteries. As you can see, pretty equal, 1.35 volts. Let's power up again, and this time select the discharge mode. Discharge with the highest available discharge current. Now let's wait for the process to start, and I will start the chronometer also. and voila here we can monitor the discharge current of each of the batteries their current voltage the milliamps per hour they managed to provide and of course the elapsed time one hour and two minutes and this is the condition of the batteries the voltage again pretty equal and they all managed to provide 357 milliamps per hour and this is the condition of the batteries after two hours and three minutes of discharge as you can see the two NLU Pro have a little bit higher voltage than the Panasonic's. All batteries managed to provide nearly yes 700 milliamps per hour. After testing so many nickel metal hydride batteries, I have noticed one very interesting thing about them those batteries have very peculiar discharge curve under a certain voltage they begin to discharge quite rapidly 2 hours and 30 minutes from the beginning of the test and again it's difficult to say which battery is better as you can see their voltage is fluctuating 
maybe the Analog Pro are a little bit better. 2 hours and 37 minutes and as you can see the difference between the two Analog Pro and the two Panasonic rechargeable is getting bigger. All four batteries are really close to the rated capacity of 930 milliamps per hour. And now you can observe that rapid discharge that I mentioned earlier. Pay attention how fast the voltage of this Panasonic rechargeable is dropping. Nine hundred zero nine hundred and four milliamps per hour. And now let's see how much milliamps per hour it will manage to provide. nine hundred and eight for this Panasonic rechargeable two hours and forty minutes again quite rapid discharge Nine hundred and eighteen milliamps for the second. Two hours and forty five minutes. One zero point ninety nine volts for the Bolt and the Loops Pro. And they managed to deliver their rated minimum capacity of nine hundred and thirty milliamps per hour. zero point ninety four volts nine hundred forty nine milliamps per hour and 2 hours and 47 minutes nine hundred and fifty milliamps again 2 hour and 47 minutes in the end of this test I may conclude that indeed the Analog Pro are better batteries but I'm not sure if their price is really worth. They are twice as expensive as the Panasonic rechargeable and they're providing only a little more capacity. 918 for the Panasonic 
rechargeable versus 950 for the analog pro so the decision is up to you guys write your opinion in the comments below thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video